Um, hello, so today we are going to do problems from weekly contest 344. Um, the third problem is number of adjacent elements with the same color. So with this problem, we have an array of numbers that has length n. And initially, all the elements don't have any color, so they have by default value 0. And we get a queries list, which contains an index in the color. Okay, And the color, um, you color the index with this color. So for example, you get 0, 2, that means you color position 0 with color no, with color 2. Um, and the goal is we want to return an answer array that has the same length as queries where the element at position i in this answer array is the number of adjacent elements, so elements next to each other, that are next to each other, that have the same color. Okay, same color, of course, means not the default uncolored value. Same color after coloring using one of these queries. Okay, so basically answer i is the number of adjacent elements that have the same color after the ith query. Okay, so basically the number of pairs that have the same color, pairs that are next to each other that have the same color after we apply all the way to the ith query. Okay. Um, and so if we take a look at the example here, uh, we first color 0 with 2, right? So initially, all since we, we color the numbers up to n, so we have this array here. Um, and so first we color, uh, the first query we color position 0 with 2, so that's what we have here. Now, so far, nothing, no adjacent elements are colored the same color. Zero doesn't count because that represents uncolored. And so here, the second query, we color position one with two. So now we have this pair which has the same color. They are adjacent, they have the same color too. And so we have one pair, and so we we set our count to two, to one. Um, and then we color position three with, with one, like this. Now, we still have only one adjacent uh, elements with the same color. And then we color one with one. And so we change the color here. Now you can see we no longer have this pair. Okay. And so now it's zero. The count is zero. Okay. And then we color position two with one here. And so now we have you, these that have the same color. So how many pairs? Adjacent pairs. So just this one and this one. Right. And so we have two. So that's what we assign. And so you can see these for each query. These are the values that will return at the end here. Okay, so that's the idea. Um, now, if you look at the construct, this is constraint. This is ten to the power up to ten to the power of five. So that tells you we can't really do a brute force where we do like for each query we check the entire array. That would be O of n by Q, which means ten to the power of five by the length of queries, which is ten to the power of five. So that would be ten to the power of ten. So that's too big. So let's see how we can tackle it in a more optimal way. Um, okay, so how do we tackle this? So um, we have n equal to, for, for example, in the first example, um, what did matter actually? La, 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 if, if we run the example, so first we let's have these indices. So we have four slots. So first we set two here, the color, and then we color one with two again. Okay. And so you can see here, at any moment when we update a position, what matters is the position to the left and the position to the right. Okay, what do I mean by that? So let's say we have um, an element, let's say zero, zero like this, and then we have one, one, and then we have maybe, yeah, something like this, um, zero. Um, or actually, let's say we have one here and then zero here. Okay, so if we put one here, if let's say um, this is zero, one, two, three, four, five, let's say we get a query for position three to be one. So when we put one here, what happens? Well, because we had a one at the index minus one, then now we have a new pair. And because we have one here, we have a new pair, right? But we don't need to look here. We don't need to look here because they won't be impacted, right? Because if there was a one here, we would have already calculated it when we assigned this one by looking at the left, right? And so when we set a value, the only impacted position is the one to the left and the one to immediately to the left and the one to the right. So this is the case where changing a value of, of a color 
adds a pair. What about the case where it removes a pair? So let's say we, we continued with this and then we had another query after that 3, 1. We had another query that says 3, 2. Now in that case, we need to change this to become 2. And so we can see already we lost this pair, we lost this pair, okay? And so we need to subtract minus one from the overall count here and minus one from the overall count. But again, here when we lose a value, what, what, what gets impacted is only the left position and the right position. And so that tells you that for each query, we need to update the count on, and by checking only the left and the right side of that particular index. Right? And so checking just a left and the right side is just two operations, right? And so it's just O of... Um, of one up operation and then we'll do it for the number of queries so it would be by q and so overall this is o of q time and so it should pass okay so it's linear and q is up to 10 to the power of 5 or something like that um, so this solution should work fine now what are the operations that we do for each query with the index and with the um with the color well we have two things we have to check if we need to subtract and by one and then we have to check if we need to increment by one and of course we'll have the overall count and then for each of these we check just if the element at index minus one has the same color I'll say let's call this nums right so if the element at index minus one has the same color as this color so if it had the same color as um, as this color then we sorry actually um what i meant here is if the element at the previous position let's say when we had one here and we are changing it to two now if it had the same color as the current color and we are changing the current color we need to subtract count by minus one because we are changing we are we are um removing this pair we are making this pair no longer correct right um, and we do the same thing for we do the same thing for index plus one because we do it for both neighbors. So if this was equal to the previous color, then we also need to subtract, right? Because now we we are let's say we are changing it to two. This color is no longer valid. This color here is no longer valid. Okay. Now you may say, what if the color is actually we are changing with the same color? We are updating with the same color. Well, in that case, we'll just in the second uh, part of handling this, we'll add them back again. Okay, so that, that should f be fine. So once we do this, we will just assign at index, we'll assign the color. And now we wanna check if the new value actually contributed um, a new, new pair. So for example, in this case, when we had zero and we update with one, we wanna check, did this become a new pair? Did this become a new pair? And so to do that, we'll just check if the previous index right was equ is equal to the new index or equal to color then we want to increment the count by one because that means index minus one and index one is a new uh, valid pair and then we do the same thing for index plus one okay and that that's pretty much it and we do this for each query um, uh, so that's the idea here the main insight is to realize that for each query update that will only impact the left, the immediately left index and the right index. So I index minus one and index plus one, which you can update in real time. Uh, you can update in all one time. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's the idea. Now let's implement it. Um, okay. So let's see the um, let's see the code. Um, let's implement this solution that we saw in the overview. So the first thing we need is um, to um, just go through the uh, queries right so we have the index in queries um, and then what we need to do is just check first if we want to remove the preview if we are removing a pair so of course we want to check that it's not zero so it's not uncolored um, and so we want to check if the previous color which is index minus one here um, however this index minus one may be um, if the index is zero, then this would be out of bounds. So we just want to prevent that by using a prev here where we just assign this if index is bigger than zero. Otherwise, we say zero. Okay. And then if this is the case, we of course need a count that we assign at the end. So if this is the case, then our current count of 
pairs with the same color should be decremented by one. Okay, um, and then I've, we also need the result that we uh, will fill, and then we'll, we will need, of course, to initialize also this numbers array, and so that would be uh, zero for the number is n, right? Um, and then here we do the same thing for index plus one. Okay, so this would be index plus one. We check if we are removing a pair. Um, now, here we have the same similar problem where this here may be out of bounds, so we just need to prevent that. So we say next is going to be equal to this if the index is within bounds, so n minus one. For this to be valid, we need this to be n minus less than n minus one. Otherwise, we just use zero, and then zero. Since this is guaranteed to be different than zero, we will prevent will prevent it being equal, okay? And so here we'll say next. If this is the case, then we subtract. And now we assign the color, so like this. And now we check if the, this assignment of this color contributed a new value, okay? And so how do we do that? Well, we just check. Um, with the, we just check if the new color, right, is equal to the previous position, index minus one. Um, and then we check if that's the case, then we just added a new a new pair. Uh, so here we are adding actually, not removing. Um, so here we are adding one pair and here we are adding one pair. So here we check if it's also equal to the next we c uh, next value, we increment count. And now we need to uh, um, add this count for this query position. And so we can just append the count. Then at the end, we want to return result, okay? So that's roughly the idea here. Now let's run this, submit. And that, that passes. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this problem. Uh, please like and subscribe and see you on the next one. Bye.